Hi and welcome to Sonic Academy, this is Echo Boy and I'm gonna be your host for the next videos where I'm gonna break down some of the hidden features within Logic Pro. Typically we keep producing in our safe zone and using commands and features that we know that we discovered ourselves or perhaps heard from a friend. However, there are some pretty cool things that we don't know and I'm gonna show you some of them which are going to improve the way that you work and your production flow. So stay with me for the next videos and let's dig in right away. All right, here we are and we are going to explore one of the nicest features and I'm not sure it's that known because it has to do with the on off switch and the way you do it and when i'm talking about on off i'm not just typically uh talking about you know enabling the on off switch in order to uh disable a track you can have another utility for that specific uh application and let me tell you what so you go to the track header you right click okay you right click you go to the track header components and here you press on off. So right now uh, it appears. And as you can see, if I click the uh, on off switch, then everything mutes and it's not working anymore. But watch this. Suppose that you have some sort of plugins. Let's say that you had uh, a compressor and uh, perhaps you had an EQ and you know another compressor and perhaps a series of plugins then if you just alt you know if you press alt and on off boom you see here everything disables all the uh, plugins are being disabled so not only uh, the track disables but you also disable with one click uh, the series of plugins that are inserted and this is great because perhaps you have um, an overdub or something perhaps you have a take that you are not that sure and you want to keep it for later but at the same time you want to save CPU and you don't want to go you know clicking perhaps you have like five six plugins you don't want to go click one by one so with this trick you know just alt click you enable everything alt click you disable everything so let's talk about screen sets and how cool they are do you know what i mean by screen sets well here on the top row you see a dot and next to it there is a number that number correlates to your numeric pad so if you press one two three four and uh, it goes up until nine you can have different screen sets and what do i mean by that most of the people are working in small laptops so 13 inch you can't mix you can't produce very uh, productively all right so in order to have some more space you can take advantage of the screen sets and how you do that let's say for example that in number two of your numeric pad, you wanted to have your mixer full size. Boom, you have it. And how do you do that? Let's say that number four, okay, let's go number five here. I wanted to have my piano roll. So the way you do this is you go to the window you want. So this is the piano roll, all right? Let's take this away. I want just my piano roll here okay here it is so right now you see that there is no dot next to five which means that the screen set is unlocked if you just press shift L the dot appears again and right now each time that I'm gonna press five I gonna I'm gonna have a piano roll so one is my arrangement two, a full-blown mixer three yeah, okay, I have my piano roll from before, from my default. Four, I have just automation. 
okay five the piano roll that i just showed you and you could do this with literally everything and it's not just just uh, screen sets say that you didn't want to have uh here on uh, your toolbar you didn't want to have the learn or automation quick access or articulation okay now if i press one again and i is i don't know if you uh, saw this but i didn't click on one so it, i didn't unlock it so if i press now one they're gonna show up again all right if i don't want them to be there i have to take them out okay like this and shift l l and lock it again so now if i go somewhere else back to one they're not there and this is working with everything in the project not just only commands but everything values if you want to magnify channels they always gonna stay there all right so let's say that you um magnify that i'm pretty sure that it's not gonna stay oh let's see Ah, it stayed. All right, they fixed it because in earlier um, versions of Logic, it uh, it didn't stay, but they fixed it. Anyway, <laughs> this is it. These are the screen sets. I hope you find uh, I hope you find this trick uh, useful and you uh, actually apply it within your projects. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate the support from you guys. If you liked this video, then you know, smash that like button. And if you want to be notified about new content, hit the subscribe and the bell notifications. Peace!